There are two methods that can be used to calculate the labor remuneration. Number one is time based or hourly based. Based on um, time, the employee will be paid on the basis of time work or time rate. Overtime or premium is paid for employee who is working more than normal hours or work overtime. The second method is known as output based or incentive method. Employee is paid based on the number of unit produced. Let's say for let's say the employee produce more, then they will earn more. But if they produce less, they will earn less. So uh, the payment or the remuneration is based on the output or performance of the employees. There are three type of output based method, uh, which are known as trade piece rate and then number two piece rate with quarantine minimum wages and number three is a differential piece rate later on we will go into detail about these three method yeah but uh, for this time being i would like to only explain about the time based method which is the first method that you can use to uh, calculate the remuneration for the employee so in order to calculate the remuneration or the wages for the employee based on the time base, first you need to calculate the basic wages. And then after that, you need to calculate the overtime payment, if any. Uh, and then, after you calculate the overtime payment and also the basic wages, now you can calculate the total wages or the uh, gross wages of the employees yeah the formula to calculate the gross wages is basic wages plus the ot wages that you have calculated in step two and step one okay for step one on how to calculate the basic wages the formula is just normal working hours time with the normal rate per hour and then in the step two uh, the calculation of ot payment can be made by deducting the actual hour work with normal working hour. Therefore, you will get the OT hours. Then the OT hour will be timed with the OT rate per hour. So that's how you will get your OT payment. And after that, after you have got the answer for step 1 and step 2, you just need to add up the answer for step 1 and step 2 to get the gross wages for the employee okay now let's look at the at the first example uh, wahid is the employee and is paid based on our work so you need to calculate his work his salary based on time base yeah the factory maintain a 40 hour per week schedule eight hours per day from monday to friday so it means that 40 hours per week is the normal working hour during the week. And uh, the second information is that the basic rate is eight ringgit per hour. So this is the uh, the normal rate yeah, that is given to the worker. Okay, during the uh, during the week. Um, so uh, eight ringgit per hour is the normal rate, and then the normal working hour is 40 hours per week. And then we have another information. Uh, on the overtime payment yeah so uh, overtime is divided into weekday and also a weekend it has a different rate for weekday the rate is at 1.5 time of the normal rate but during the weekend the rate of overtime is two time of the normal rate okay and then uh, another uh, information is that during week three wahid worked for 52 hours for which 10 hour will work during weekend okay here from this example we know that the uh, first information is that the normal working hour is 40 hours per week right but wahid is working more than the normal working hour so he works the actual hour work by wahid is 52 hours it means that wahid had worked over time uh, of 12 uh, 12 hour during a week three right 52 is the actual hour work then you need to minus with the normal working hour 40 hour to get the ot hours so ot hour is equal to 12 hour yeah that's the ot hours um but then uh from this 12 hour 10 hours will work during weekend see okay so the rate uh, during the weekend and during the the rate for the overtime yeah uh, it's not the 
the same between uh, weekend and weekday. So you need to uh, divide the OT hour into weekend and also weekday. Okay, uh, for weekday, yeah? uh, weekday, uh, weekday, how you know the OT hours for weekday? So it is given yeah, in the last question that Wahid had worked for 52 hours of which 10 hours. 10 hours will work during weekend. Okay, so 10 hours is during weekend. So the balance, the remaining hour is 2 hours lah. Since the the OT hour is, uh, the total OT hour is 52 minus 40 is 12, right? Uh, 10 is for during the weekend. Another 2 is during weekday. So 2 hours is the OT hours. And then you time with the rate of the overtime. The rate of overtime during the weekday is 1.5. It's given in the, it is stated in the question 1.5. And then you need to time with the normal rate. The normal, normal rate is given in the first paragraph. Uh, in the second paragraph, the normal rate is equivalent to 8 ringgit per hour. Therefore, you time the OT hour with the OT rate per hour. You will get 24 ringgit. That is is the overtime payment during the weekday. How about the, uh, the overtime payment during the weekend? So, uh, you have to calculate the time, the OT hours uh, spent uh, is uh, 10 hours given in the uh, last paragraph. Yeah, 10 hours, uh, OT hours. Uh, and then you need to time with the rate of overtime uh, during the weekend, which is given in the question two times of the normal rate. So, two times the normal rate, two times eight lah. Okay, eight is the normal rate. And then, you will get the answer of one ringgit and sixty, one hundred and sixty ringgit. So, this is uh, the overtime payment during the weekend and this is the overtime payment during the weekday. So, how much is the uh, remuneration or wages that that the company should pay to Wahid. Okay, now look at the calculation of the amount of wages that should be paid to Wahid for week 3. Yeah? So, uh, this is only for 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 a week. Yeah? Week 3. Uh, okay, so the, the step is uh, like I explained uh, previously. Step 1, you need to calculate the basic wages. Step 2, you calculate the OT payment. And step 3, you need to calculate the gross wages. Okay, to calculate the... Um, the basic wages, the formula is uh, normal working hours, which is 40 hours, time with the normal rate per hour, which is uh, 8 ringgit. Therefore, 40 hour times 8 ringgit equal to 320 ringgit per week. So, this is the, the basic wages during week 3. But if the question wants you to uh, calculate uh, the, the basic wages for the month, you need to time uh, the basic wages for the week with the Four week because in a month we have four weeks, yeah. So three hundred and twenty ringgit per week time with four weeks. So if it is required in the question, okay. But if it is not, then you do not have to calculate the basic wages for the month. So, uh, so for the week for week three, the wahid will have the basic wages of three hundred and twenty ringgit per week, yeah. Okay, uh, next we uh, continue with step 2, calculate the OT payment. The formula is uh, OT rate, uh, OT hours, okay, actual hour work minus with normal working hour time with the OT rate, yeah, OT rate per hour. Okay, from the question we know that during the weekend, during the weekend, the uh, Wahid work uh, 10 hours, yeah, 10 hours. And the rate during the weekend is, uh, during the weekend, the rate is 2 times of the normal rate, which is 2 times 8. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16 ringgit. Yeah? So, 10 hours is the OT, OT hours, and then time with the OT rate, 16 ringgit. And then, we have uh, the overtime during the weekday. Okay, weekday, the time span is 2 hours. Okay, 2 hours is the OT hours. Time with the OT rate during the weekday. So, OT rate during weekday is 8 ringgit time with 1.5. So, you will get your answer of 12 ringgit. So, you plus this answer together 160 plus 24 ringgit. The OT payment up. The OT payment is 184 ringgit. So, this is the answer for step 2. Yeah? So, in order to uh, calculate the gross wages in week 3, week 3 only, yeah? 
So you need to uh, you need to uh, add up the basic wages for the week, which is at three hundred and twenty ringgit per week, plus with the OT payment during the week. Okay, during the week or or week three, the OT payment that should be paid to Wahid is equal to hundred and eighty four ringgit. Therefore, the total wages or gross wages that should that should be paid to Wahid is equivalent to five hundred and for ringgit so that's all for method 1